Everyone pitching in, we'll have the palace ship shape in no time. Uh. Whoa! Badu! Sorry, Pappy. You can always ask for my help, you know. I'll pick them up. Hey, what's that? Well, uh, I don't recall ever seeing that before. Thumping! It looks like a pirate's chest. Maybe it's full of treasure. Let's look inside. Locked. Here's the key. Nits and nats. It won't. Patience, Badu. You don't want to. Oops. Well, I know I've never seen that before, but you're right, Badu. It does look like a treasure chest. One straight out of the black trunk, the pirate story. It could be full of gold coins and silver shark teeth. We gotta open it and see. Ah, uh, but someone bent the key. Oh, yeah. Black Trunk would just break it open. <gasps> Man, no, 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 no. You can't think of damaging this beautiful antique. Any other ideas, Badu? Hmm. The tinker in the bazaar fixes pots and pans and other metal stuff. Maybe he could fix the key. That is an excellent suggestion. <laughs> This sure is a cool-looking key. Keep it in your pocket, Badu. You don't want to lose it. Gotcha, Pappy. I promise I won't take it out until I hand it to the tinker. <laughs> Close. He must be at lunch. Well, I do need to pick up fresh strawberries for my strawberry cream pie. And your Nana wants the latest Miss Marabou mystery novel. But, Pappy, the tinker could come back any minute. Any second, even. Hmm. You wait for him, then. I'll pick up what I need and meet you back here. Badu, until the tinker comes, the key... Stays in my pocket. Good lad. Hey, Bill. Hi, Bill. Have you come to see the candy cup? She's making chocolate-dipped ice. Made with real Mooncastle Mountain Ice. I found a chest back at the palace. I think it's full of gold and silver shark teeth. Silver shark teeth? Really? Really, Bill? Yep, and I have the key. Wow, let's see. This key is tusk-tastic. It's really old and... Oh, I promised my pappy I'd keep it in my pocket. Huh? <laughs> funny one, Boo. That was funny. Yeah, you really had us going. Silver shark teeth. <laughs> no, really, guys, I've got the key. Come with us instead. Wait, here it is. Huh? You're clearly, Prince, you can't be trusted with something so valuable. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> <laughs> Where'd he go? Look, Boo. There's your pappy. We can tell him Come and can... Whoa! What is it, Boo? What's wrong? We can't tell my pappy. He told me to keep the key in my pocket until I gave it to the tinker. We have to find crocodiles and get it back ourselves. Crocs are great hiders, Badoo. They keep out of sight 
until they think you're not looking, then boom, they make their move. We can't let the ambassador sneak out of the bazaar. No way you're getting to that treasure, Gravidillus. Ambassador? Nope, but he hasn't tried to get past Monroe yet. He hasn't come back this way either. He's hiding somewhere between us and Monroe. Come on, let's go. If Crocodilus gets that key fixed, he can take whatever he wants out of the chest. Nobody will even know what's gone. Are you sure you don't want to tell your pappy? Because he's right there. <gasps> Whoa! Hmm. I know she's read the mystery of the lion's bottomless stomach. Ah, here we are. The hyena laughs at midnight. Do you see him anywhere, Bill? We're never gonna find him before my pappy finishes his errands. Hi, Sugar Snout. Would you and your friend like a chocolate-dipped icicle? Made with real Moon Castle Mountain ice. Mmm. No, thank you, ma'am. Aw, but do. Look! Gotcha! What? Stop! Ah! Oh. Not this time. Mm. Look out! <sighs> ha ha! Hey! They're doing great! <laughs> uh. ah. Chiku! <laughs> Remember what I said, Boo. Crocs are great at hiding. They keep out of sight, and when you're not looking... Boom! They make their move. You're right, guys. The ambassador is too clever for us. We better go tell my pappy, the king. Wow! What are we doing, Boo? Playing crocodile. No more running around. This time, we are going to wait and watch. Let's get him. Not yet. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Boom! Great move, Boom. Oh. Come on. Let's get back to the tinker shop before my pappy can... <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> I only took the key to keep it safe. The young prince was waving it all around the bazaar. The ambassador is right, pappy. I took the key out to show Chico and Monroe. Hmm. Mysteries sometimes make us act too quickly. Let's unlock this one once and for all. A stuffed crocodile? Mine! Floppy Fang? <laughs> nice dog, Ambassador. <laughs> Oh, Floppy Fang was my best friend for years and years. 
Oh, um, how did that silly thing get in there? There are pictures, too. Ah! Give those to me! It's a note from your mother, Ambassador. Mm -hmm. She sent the chest when you moved to Celesteville. No wonder we didn't remember it. Sorry, Ambassador. Must have been placed in the storage room by mistake. Your mother said these things to remind you of home. It really is a treasure. It's an outrage! Pirate's chest. Funny, the key belonged to him all along. I'm sorry I didn't tell you everything right away, Pappy. You can always ask for my help, you know. I know. Now, why don't we finish that spring cleaning and then go and get some chocolate dipped icicles? Never pounds on a porcupine. <laughs> Point taken. Now help me find Bidoo. Found you! Whoa! Oh, oops. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Sorry, Your Majesty. We're looking for Bidoo. I haven't seen him. Though I don't remember that chair ever having a trunk before. <laughs> Pappy! <laughs> Chiku, you know you're not supposed to play in the throne room. Besides, it's a beautiful day. You should all be outside. Let's go to the grotto. Willing! Yeah. <laughs> Just remember, Badu, the grotto is Gallop's home. Be respectful of his wishes. Sure thing, Pappy. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I seem to remember another young monkey who loved playing hide-and-seek in the throne room. <laughs> you never could find me. <laughs> Seven, eight... Nine, ten. Ready or not, prepare to be... Ugh. Are you okay, Boo? You okay? Yeah, but where did that ball come from? Gee, sorry, Prince Badu. You got in the way of my shot. What are you two doing here? Playing kicker ball. What do you think? No way. This is our place. Guys, the grotto's big enough for all of us. We'll play at one end, and you play at the other. Okay? Fine. Just stay out of our way. I'll count again. Where do you think huh? you're going? That's our home base boulder, Badu. All our games start from there. But it's our counting rock. Nuh-uh. Come on, Delash. It's ours. Ours! Ours, ours, a gazillion times ours! By my step and stumble, you little hatchlings have awfully big voices. I was taking my nap. Sorry, Gallop. But we were here first. <sighs> hmm. I was here long before any of you. Yes, sir. If I can find a way to share this space, so can all of you. But the next one who disturbs my nap will be sent away faster than... Uh, faster than... Uh... A jackal with a jetpack? Faster than a rooster on a rocket? Hmm. Faster than even that. Hmm. Come on, Boo. Let's go finish our game somewhere else. No way. If we let the Crocs have the grotto now, they'll be here all the time. They're already calling our counting rock the home base boulder. So what do you want to do? You heard Gallop. Whoever disturbs his nap is out of here faster than a mongoose on a motorcycle. <laughs> I've got an idea. How are these going to help get rid of the Crocs? Remember what happened at the last flower fair? When Delash ate all those banana sandwiches? Oh, yeah. But how are you going to get him to eat these? <sighs> Delash, can we just go someplace else to play? Somewhere we can make some noise? Shh! We're protecting home base Boulder. Hey, what are they doing with all those bananas? These are our snacks, Delash. You keep your claws off them. I love bananas. It's working! Good shot, Zephyr. You 
were right about it being too beautiful a day to be inside. I wonder if the kids are having fun. I hope they're not bothering Gallop. Here it comes. Uh-oh. The, the flash! Shh! Oh, my! Oh, point for me. <laughs> nice belt, Banana Belly. No way Gallop could nap through that. Ah, you left those bananas out on purpose. You tricked us. Boo told you not to eat them. As soon as Gallop shows up, you crocs are out of here. Oh, my. <sighs> oh. Ha! Your plan didn't work. Uh-oh. Guys. Bananas make you burp too, Tersh? Uh, not burp. <laughs> Thank you, Zephyr. Oh. I win. Those birds are leaving the grotto in an awfully big hurry. Perhaps we should take a look. Well, how annoying. Hatchlings? Hatchlings? Help! Ah, now who's making all the noise? <laughs> Have another banana turn. <laughs> Wait, there's got to be a better way to see who gets the grotto. I know. We challenge you to a game of kickerball. Hmm. Two teams of two. First team to score a goal wins. Winners get to keep the grotto. Losers never come back. <gasps> Forget it, Boo. Let me play. We can beat these guys. You're on. But do. Duke, you're going to be crying when this game is over. Go, 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 go! Here I come, Tersh! Heads up! Hi yes! Whoa. Grotto anyway. Come on, Tersh. Come on. Let's go tell Gallop that the Crocs won't be back. Gallop, are you okay? Are you in need of eyeglasses, young prince? He's seat over feet, Bill. Uh, this stuff is heavy. Chiku, get a vine. Right out. Gallop, we're gonna try to pull you free. Hmm. Guys! Hey, guys! Hey, Delash, I think there's something wrong. Why? <laughs> you eat another banana? Uh, hey, come on, guys! Not our problem anymore. <sighs> okay, Gallop, here we go! <laughs> <laughs> He's not uh, coming loose. Huh? Hi, guys. This doesn't make us friends. Are you all right, Gallop? Hmm. Nothing's broken. 
Badu? Sorry, Gallop. Happy told us to respect your wishes, but I guess we acted like the grotto belonged to us instead of you. Us crocs were willing to try sharing the space. It's never just about sharing the space. You hatchlings should have tried sharing the fun. Though to do that, you'd have to talk to one another. Do you know what this is? The Counting Rock. Home base boulder. <laughs> we called it the Meeting Stone. Long before Celesteville was built, animals of all kinds would come to the Meeting Stone to talk out their problems. Ah, this grotto is a very special place. Perhaps you boys could try that, coming here and just talking. <laughs> now, who's up for a game of kickerball? Sure! Delash? Tersh? You think we can beat these others? Yes, sir. But I better put on some honey brush tea. I can see this is gonna get as noisy as a... A hippo hoedown? A jackal jubilee? Hmm. Noisier than that. Loser does the winner's chores for a week. Now you're talking. <laughs> 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 